League Now, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill with your full seven-day forecast. Welcome back, everyone. Slowly that sky is going to clear, but believe it or not, as cold as it felt today, the high 42 and the morning low 29, actually very close to average. We're just not used to average this winter, right? Karen sent this photo from Lookout and Mary and Cordless. This is part of Fayette County that's above about 2,500 feet. And yes, indeed, we had a winter wonderland, totally elevation dependent. And now the sky is starting to clear out. We have temperatures that are anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees colder than 24 hours ago across much of the Midwest and East. But check it out, Omaha, Wichita, anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees warmer than 24 hours ago. And that pattern is heading in our direction. One of the only reports that we got from the area with snowfall was in Quinwood with 1.2 inches of accumulation. 22 in Marlington, 25 in Summersville and Beckley. We are at the freezing mark though in Pineville. Everybody will see a couple of icy patches and that will be in alleyways and driveways. So just be careful tonight. And also a thick frost will develop tonight. And if you're a night owl, you'll see the full moon later tonight. It's the snow moon in February, but but, 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 if you aren't awake later tonight or tomorrow morning through 7.44 a.m., you will see it tomorrow evening, too, because we have clear skies Sunday evening before a little bit of rain comes early Monday. 25 in Beckley, 38 in Nashville. There's the warm temperature in San Angelo at 60 degrees. So bright sunshine on Sunday after a thick frost. Warm on Monday. Couple of early showers when the kids are at the bus stop. That's about it. Very light in nature. And then we have a windy system Tuesday and Wednesday, but it's going to be much warmer. There will also be thunder with it on the backside. Eh, I don't think there's going to be any snow. Relatively cool on Thursday, and then we start to warm it up on Friday. The aches and pains forecast, the big pressure change will occur with the front on Wednesday. So I had to break out this icon to show you how it will make you feel, unfortunately, if you have arthritis. And there's the threats over the next couple of days. Some gusty winds Tuesday and Wednesday, frost tomorrow morning, flooding Wednesday, low chance of that, severe, low threat, and of course the black ice tonight. There's the seven day forecast. Temperatures will warm up well into the 60s next week. We drop back into the low 50s Thursday and Friday.